Investing directly into the stock market? Which stocks should you start with? Large and known companies, known as large cap stocks, or smaller companies, known as small cap stocks? Let's take a look at each. What's good about investing in smaller companies? They have higher growth potential because of their low base. For example, it's easier for a company to double its size from rupees 10 crore than for a company to double its size from rupees 10,000 crore. What's bad about investing in smaller companies? Prices tend to be more volatile as fewer shares are available in the market. And when the broader market is falling, their share prices can fall faster too because fewer shares are traded and there are very few buyers. Also, when the market is falling, people look for safety and tend to avoid smaller companies. Finding a good company is difficult because information may not be readily available. The management of smaller companies are not well known and developments in small companies are often not covered in the press. Finally, tracking small companies may also be tough because not many of them are monitored by analysts and brokerage firms. What's good about investing in large companies? Large companies are widely owned, thus easy to track. And as India is developing, many large companies are growing fast too. This means good returns over a period of time. What's bad about investing in large companies? Shares may be more expensive because of their wide ownership. A large number of investors, including the institutional investors, own well-known large companies which push demand for their shares. As a result, prices move up. Many investors in large companies hold shares for longer, thus keeping demand and share prices high. So, what's the verdict? If you're not a professional investor, start with big companies. They'll make you familiar with the market, and later you can start looking at smaller companies.